I'm trying out a new fragrance oil today and it is Deadly Weapon by Nature's Garden. And if you are interested in how I do this, the design and the colors and everything, then stay tuned. But I must warn you that I I lost the footage of me cutting the soap at the end. So I don't know what happened, but I'm sorry. But you will see the final bar at the end of the soap. And before I, we actually move on to the video, I do want to say thank you to all who have subscribed thus far. I am trying to build this channel as much as possible. So every subscriber, I am so grateful for you. And I love you guys. And let's get into the video. All right, so I've got everything ready. Um, I've got my water with just a little bit of sugar in it for my lye. I've got my uh, fragrance oil, which we are using Deadly Weapon today. Black Pearl Mica and just a little bit of um, activated charcoal. And the Black Pearl Mica I got from, I believe, Nurture Soap and Satin Penny which I got from Mad Micas. And that's such a pretty coppery color. I love that color. I got my Kaolin clay ready, uh, my butters and oils, my liquid oils. I got everything set. So I just need to get my gloves on and I will be ready to rumble. So this is my hard oils and butters. And I'm going to strain this lye just in case, but it doesn't really look like it has any lye lint, which is awesome. So I'm going to strain it. Oh, wow. Very cool. Yeah, what a difference. What a difference. I love it. The method that I'm using here is called the heat transfer method. And basically you're using the heat from the lye mixture to melt your oils and butters. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to add, I'm actually going to set this aside real quick and I'm going to add my kaolin clay to my liquid oils and blend that up real quick. Now I'm going to add it to my oils and butters, my hard oils and butters. I'm going to add this liquid oils and my kaolin clay. We'll mix this up till it is at a light trace or maybe just too emulsion. I've got dreams on my gravestone, no flowers to be found. I keep screaming, shouting, this is my battleground. Though I'm trapped inside the mind of a dreamer, my fears can't hold me down. I think we're at emulsion. All right, yeah, yeah, we're there. All right, so I'm, oh, I forgot. I'm gonna add the sodium lactate now. Whoop, I got things falling in the back. All right, so I got my black and my satin penny and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to pour off a little bit into my satin penny. That's all I want. That's it. That's all we're going to do for that. Actually, no, I like. We're going to do that much. And then for my black black, we're going to do about the same. And the rest. I'm thinking I might have a little bit of false trace here. So... For my base color, I want it to be just a very light gray. So I'm going to add some black pearl. It's quite a bit in there, so I just want to... That wasn't enough. Okay. So I'm just going to add that much, and we're going to see what kind of gray we get with that. Just a light gray. Not very 
dark at all. So let's mix this up. A little darker than I wanted. That being said, we're going to counteract that with a little bit of titanium dioxide. All right. Still a little darker than what I wanted, but... All right, and I'm going to mix up these colors. That is gorgeous. I love that color. I just love that color. Now is, now is the time. Now, before I actually add the fragrance oil, I got to figure this out. So I'm going to obviously pour the base in, a little bit of the copper, a little bit of a black. And, but before I do any of that, let's get some of this fragrance oil in here. And let's hope that it does not accelerate. So here's the base. We're going to pour the base in. Let's try to make it in the pot this time. Oh, see? Oh, every time. Boy, it is definitely not accelerating, that's for sure. Pour a little bit more in. Can't believe I did that. Uh, I do it. I feel like I do it in every video. So obviously I am doing something wrong here or I am just that messy. I'm going to go with the second one. Jeez. All right. I'm going to pour a little bit more in there. Boy, it's behaving very well. I'm very excited about that. All right, and I am going to give these more of a mix. All right, so here we go. I'm going to just pour from above. So we're going to leave some of the top for that. And then I'm going to go in with the rest. If I don't spill it. And just top off the soap. That one's really full. And we're going to do the rest in here. Hopefully we do not spill it. I'm so excited to see what these bars look like now because, I mean, it's a little darker than I originally wanted, but I think it's going to be great. Boy, a mess. As usual. All right, I'm going to add a little strip of copper on the top here.
We are going to swirl the suckers. Let's see, let's see if I can bring it down a little bit further. There. All right, we're just gonna leave it. Cause it's just like I, I want for now. So we're gonna try to clean up these sides and then I'll bring you in for a close up. So I'm going to just kind of leave them right here until they solidify a little bit before I move them. But this, is the top. I'm so excited to see what the inside brings and I will find out and you will find out in 16 to or I'm sorry 18 to 24 hours. I'll see you then. So that is Deadly Weapon. So what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. And um, if, if there was anything that I would do differently with this soap, I probably would do the swirls a little bit different because I have ones like this that came out a little weird, but that's okay. I really, really love this soap and it smells delicious so but thank you for watching i really appreciate it and if you guys liked my video give it a thumbs up subscribe so i can keep doing this content for you i love you guys and i'll see you on the next one